Hello everyone, William Oaks here. Today I'm gonna to go over an update for the AI e-commerce toolkit. So essentially what we fledged out is a little bit more of TypeBot. So let's go into that real quick. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open our chat widget for TypeBot and we're just gonna put in our name. Now technically we could build this out on VoiceFlow or something like that, um, or even BotPress. Um, the reason we're using TypeBot is it's open source meaning that we can have as many bots as we want and we can make things as complicated as we want. All right, so we um, have the live chat which will automatically redirect us to our N8N chat widget. We also have find a product, find a blog, and contact us. So let's go and contact us real quick. So these are all the options that we have. So they can call, email, get directions, and visit the social media. And all of those are just going to redirect to those specific links. Or in the case of the telephone, what it's going to do is it's going to actually open that telephone number. If they're on a cell phone, it's actually going to call. If it's on a computer, it'll probably pop up with a window to send to your cell phone if you have an Android. All right, so let's go into find a product real quick. I'll show you how this works. So the first thing it's doing is loading all the categories for WooCommerce. So we only have one, which is hardwood. So it's loading all of our products. So we click on natural clean. I got to remove this, but essentially we can visit the post, continue searching, or we can go to the main menu. So if we go to continue searching, it's going to route us back to our categories. Then we go to our main menu. Um, now the blog post works pretty much the same exact way. The only difference is, is we actually have more categories under the blogs. And I set it so it's only loading the first five blog posts and it's all in ascending order. So while it's doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into TypeBot real quick. And I'm going to just show you kind of how the um, workflows are actually working. We don't need the contractor bot. What we want is the WooCommerce one. All right, so these are pretty much the bots that we have. Um, everything starts with this one right here, which is um, pretty much giving us a welcome. And then it's collecting the user information. Now, when this actually goes live, what we're going to do is it's going to be under settings. We're gonna make it so it remembers the user. That way when they're browsing the website, it's not gonna always ask for that information. Um, now when we go back to the flow, and we go all the way to the right. So essentially this is where all the buttons are happening. And when we click on jump to you know e-commerce live chat, that's obviously our N8N live chat. Or we can get the products, blog post, or we can do the contact. Um, so for an example, we test essentially essentially what's happening is when we click on find a product, for example, it's actually loading into a new type bot. So if I go into type it real quick again in our new window, There we go. So when I click on WooCommerce products, this is essentially the bot it's going to. And I could keep this all in one workflow, but you know, it's gonna get messy. And I like to keep things as clean as possible, especially when it's within the functionality of the tool. So essentially how this is working is we get our quick intro and then we have our categories. Um, so essentially what I'm doing is I'm making an API call to WooCommerce and I'm getting the categories and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set that category and I'm going to then load it in the buttons and then once you click on that selection it's actually going to 
select that product category and then we're going to go over to our products so I'm just going to actually rename this products um, so for example that functionality essentially when we click on this that's selecting it and then it's going to load our products for us so essentially just from what happened there it went all the way to this specific node right here where we're going to select that product <coughs> All right, so what I did under this is we're making another call to WooCommerce. Um, and essentially what we're doing is we're just searching the specific product by the category. Um, just so we can get that actual category ID. Um, from there, what I did is I could uh, make another API call directly with them. Um, WooCommerce, but what I ended up doing just to keep things cleaner and it makes it a little bit faster and easier on my end is I created a custom API. Uh, so type out and then WooCommerce API right here. I created these custom APIs. So if I go in this right here, uh, let's just click on test webhook. And what I'm going to have to do is, actually, I'm going to stop that real quick. I want to find a product. Let's let's do this one right here, just so you can get an idea of how this works. We go back to our type bot, and I'm going to add this to be a test, just so we can see how it works. I'm going to type in test request. All right, so that's what we're getting back from that request. Um, just so we can see what's going on though, um, essentially what's happening is as soon as that API call comes in, it automatically makes that call into our webhook. Then I'm just setting all of the um, auth and information that we want, like the category, stuff like that. And then I'm essentially loading all of that information into another post request that's going directly to their website. Now the reason I'm doing this is this JSON schema is very messy. It's a lot of objects and a lot of arrays. And it's hard to actually get these images out properly without doing a lot of complicated scripting within Typebot. Um, and it's a lot faster for me just to build this API out. And another thing is I'm able to honestly get these um, post excerpts that way we can have that go back into the system that way we have a little bit of information about what they're clicking on with that image um, and then essentially all we're just doing is um, we're setting the fields so we're just setting the product name product excerpt image url and the product url and then when it responds to the webhook it's just going back in and this is the response that we get back so that's pretty much all it is and then we're just, you know, obviously routing back. Now, one thing I think might work fairly well is if we add another button here. Return to main menu. Honestly, I don't know if this will work or not. I think it should. Um, let's test. Let's do a test real quick. Hardwood. Okay, it doesn't actually. That doesn't actually work. Oh, that's kind of sad, but let's see. I don't think I can actually add a button here. Uh, no. That's one thing I'm going to have to look into is see if I can add another button option that is not actually dynamic into this request. Hopefully I can. And that way I can keep things a little bit cleaner. Um, that way they don't have to go, the, go through the entire bot if they don't want to. So the product, you know, selector works pretty much the same exact way. We have all of our contact information and pretty much all this is doing is redirecting to a telephone or email, all of our social media, and then it's going to jump back to our main menu. Um, that's for the most part what we've added into the bot. Uh, eventually we'll add a little bit more functionality, especially for what people are looking for. 
like we'll probably have an order inquiry that way people can automatically pull up their orders and stuff in the live chat I think it gives another option instead of using AI credits to do all of that searching um, I think it's gonna save the customer a little bit of money you know just from a couple of brand websites like this I know they can have thousands of people on their site at any particular time I'm not sure if Bravewood will but I, I know some of the brands that we work with have pretty high server loads and if everybody decided to <laughs> okay All right, so if everybody decided to use this live chat assistant right here, that's going to get really expensive really quick. Of course, you know, you get a little bit more information like what page am I on? You know, we're, this is obviously a lot more conversational and it's really aligned to what the client wants, but you know, we're also able to get more functionality through this. So when type bot fails, this is a good alternative. And for an example, when we're searching the products, instead of having a button that says main menu, we can also add jump to live chat as well, um, just as another option. Um, uh, let's make that more natural. What do you have four products a type of technically I think has a little bit of a nicer interface um, essentially all this is doing is giving us all this information back in markdown but you know overall pretty close and you know it should save some money for the client overall um, as time goes on we're gonna keep adding more features into the AI e-commerce toolkit let me know what features you guys need and we'll be more than happy to take a look at it and start incorporating more stuff into the system thank you